Talofa. Talofa. It's similar to aloha. Talofa. Aloha is the same thing. Talofa is hello, in Hawaii is love is aloha. In Hawaii though, love, aloha is love, uh, is hello and goodbye. Hello, I love you, bye bye. <laughs> I'm from Samoa, my name is Cap Tefiti. I'm happy to be here today, share with you a little bit of our culture of Samoa as well as Polynesia. Who have been to the Polynesian Cultural Center? Yes, I know it's far away, so you can come when you, when you can come visit us at the Polynesian Cultural Center. But today I'm going to share with you fire knife dancing, which is just a, uh, I'm going to also share with you how to make the fire rubbing sticks together. So I ain't afraid. I'm half close. Pretty not afraid. Share with you how to make fire, light the knife with it, and then dance with it. And I know in your home you teach your children, don't touch the knife, don't touch the fire. In our home we put it together and give it to the child and watch them suffer. <laughs> I'm all into culture, and I hope to, uh, that uh, this will help many, many people see culture. It's really important to hold on to culture and to language and to the way we behave, the way we do things in, in, in our culture. I'm gonna share with you that it's quite important to, to know things that where you come from as a culture person. So I'm gonna share with you how to make fire. Fire comes from rubbing sticks. Yeah? Two pieces of wood. This is wild hibiscus. You go to Hawaii or Samoa, Polynesia, it's all over the place. It's anywhere, anywhere that's wet, the wild hibiscus grow. So there's a low hibiscus, there's hibiscus. <laughs> but this is wild hibiscus. So we're gonna wrap the two pieces, both in the same wood, and then we'll make fire. It will be a couple of hours, so sit back, relax. <laughs> You're gonna run out of time. <laughs> I wanna also share with you how to uh, dance the fire knife dance. Give a big hand to my drummers, my son and uh, my brother here. Give it up. Drummers, who we are? That's a can. Somebody throw it away, we use it as a drum. <laughs> hey, we use everything. TED Talks, watched it for a long time. My wife introduced me to uh, TED Talks and I've been enjoying a lot of inspirational. And I hope what I'm going to share with you today is somehow ins inspiration to anybody. This one person will be great. So I'm going to share with you how to make the fire. <laughs> Rubbing sticks together. So, uh, sit on a, a big piece. Uh, I wasn't told how much time I supposed to have you, but I can be here all day. All right. So the smaller piece from the same wood. Remember that. That's very important information. And then rub them together. Two hours. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's it. You came all the way here to see that. <laughs> so we got the fire made. We have some gasoline, propane, whatever you can find. We have something else. So this is coconut husk. Huh? Transfer the fire to the husk. <laughs> Smells really good. Everybody say fire. 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 I know there's a lot of people from all over the world here today, so we're gonna. So fire in Samoa is afi. Say afi. afi. In Hawaii, in Tonga, it's the same thing. Now you realize that Polynesia are similarities. We're more similar than we are different, a language especially. Samoa is afi. In Tonga, is afi. In Hawaii, is ahi. In Malaysia, Indonesia, api. Is that right? Happy in India, Agni. Agni, Agni. Filipino, Apoy. It's in there. Api, Apoy, Apoy. In Spanish, Fuego. <laughs> in Brazil, Fuego. In French, Fuego. <laughs> in uh, Korea, Pur, Pur. Chinese, Whoa! Oh, 
That's right. Hey, 你好吗？你好。In Taiwan, Hui. Hong Kong, Bo. <laughs> Vietnam, Le. And in Japan is he. Everybody say he. he. I don't know what she is. <laughs> But he is fire. <laughs> He's hot. <laughs> Smells really good. Salmon cologne. <laughs> like a、uh, old spice. <laughs> But this is way older and spicier. <laughs> so get this: in Samoa, the the men cook the food. You know, I know in Japan and China, the、uh, Japan, Korea women cook. In China, they take turns. In America, it doesn't matter. Whoever orders the food. <laughs> in Samoa, though, the men cook. Fish, you hunt, you plant, harvest, you cook, then you serve the food, and the list goes on and on. <laughs> and she writes the list. With both hands, <laughs> you like that, ladies? Samoa's、yeah. so、not that far. <laughs> you move there. There's not one man left. <laughs> I was the last one. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah. Now today again, I, I really want to、uh, promote culture awareness and people,、uh, indigenous people. Holding on to our cultural language and the things that we do, because if you don't do anything anymore, that language that involved in that particular、uh, fishing, for example, or whatever it is, the language is lost. So I、uh, attribute to my parents, who taught me everything. We didn't really, we didn't have anything. We were pushed to go to school and also hold on to culture. So I'm from a family of 17 kids or more, who all, most of them went to to university level school. So I tribute to them. Also, my wife will always push me to stay healthy and do good. So, you ready for the fire? Are you ready for the fire?、Yeah. Is this house ready for the fire? <laughs> okay, we have a fire knife, a weapon of Samoa. This is a weapon. See the hook there with the, those things there? They go through your body any time. So you have scars everywhere. You have scars here. But the knife is a weapon. Originally, a war club it became a knife, and when the knife came to us, then we had material to hold the gasoline both ends.、So、we light them up and dance with it. <laughs> and as young as you can be, you can start dancing. So, are you ready for this?、Yeah. <coughs> are you ready for this? <laughs>、yeah. Okay, here it is. Put <laughs> a towel.
Ih, o amor! Say some more. You want some more? You go to some more. <laughs> Once again, grateful for the opportunity to be here. <sighs> Thank you so much. Aloha!